Illinois Fudge with Shoreline Marine Products. I've been a certified marine mechanic for over 25 years and I'm here today as Captain Weekend. Today I'm going to share a variety of easy boating projects that you can do yourself with the common tools that you've probably got in your toolbox right now. I'll be by your side every step of the way and together we'll install a variety of top quality Shoreline Marine Products to get you back on the water faster. So let's get going. Grab your tools and I'll share my tips and tricks so you can easily install those new hot shoreline accessory and replacement parts and be your own Captain Weekend. Hi, it's Lloyd, Captain Weekend with Shoreline Marine. A couple of quick tips on connecting all your wires up to your batteries. Most marine batteries will have a terminal and then they'll also have a, a screw terminal on it. They usually come with nuts, like how this one does, or wing nuts, like so. Normally, I like to put an actual nylock nut, a self-locking nut. That way, once I get it tightened down, it won't start backing back up with the vibrations of the boat running through the water or trailering it down. That I usually turn them, whatever they give me to, with my batteries, I always go get a couple of nylock nuts to, to actually tighten my wires down with it. Also, if you don't have a marine battery that has the two terminals, we've got a little kit here for a top mount battery. It'll actually clamp onto the top mount, gives you a couple of studs coming out of it so that you can actually hook your eyelets up to the, to the battery and not have to go buy, buy a new battery for it. You can also add these to marine batteries in case you have too many wires going through to where you're building up and have, you're getting a lot of slop in your wires, a lot of loose wires. You can just put a couple of wires onto the normal terminal, tighten it down. You can attach this to the other terminal and then use the wing nuts to hook all your accessory wires up to for that. Hooking them up, got your ring terminal. Basically put it over. I always put my smallest ring terminals down at the bottom. I usually put my main battery cables on the top. That gives my nut a good hard surface to screw down against. Use my nylock nut. Put it on. Get my wrench. Normally with the nuts, you usually have a 5 16 post on the negative side, a 3 8 post on the positive side. Half inch wrench will do your your 5 16 9 16 wrench will do your 3 8 terminal. Whenever you're using a wrench, you want to make sure you don't short across. Always kind of hold it up a little bit. Turn it on down. Hold your wires in the directions that you want them to go. Get it good and snug. And you won't have a problem with it backing off and causing a dead battery down the line. 